The beauty of the Cheshire village of Lower Peaver cannot be underestimated with its chocolate box cottages, its wonderful old pub and stunning church with its roots dating back to early medieval times. The beautiful church of St Oswald's stands side by side with what was once known as the Warren de Tabley pub, but now known today as the Bells of Peaver. Lower Peaver stands approximately six miles east of Northwich and four miles south of Nutsford. A popular destination for locals and tourists, Lower Peaver is like taking a walk back in time. It's here in the village where behind me we find the primary school, which stands close to School House. Now this primary school is a trust primary school and it's under the trust of deed of Richard Comberbatch. A simple gravestone and it just reads John Mears schoolmaster buried here 1734. Now a church has stood on this site since at least the year 1269 when it was an ease of chapel for Great Budworth. By the 16th century this small church had increased vastly in size, measuring 80 feet east to west and 40 feet wide. Now when Henry VIII brought about the dissolution of the monasteries, it was Norton Priory that stood nearby that was to close. Norton Priory supported St Oswald's financially and it was a disaster when this financial help was to disappear. But however, one Sir Robert Lester was to donate £30 a year to them in support of the church. The Tower of St Oswald's is interesting in itself, being surmounted by four gargoyles or grotesques. These ancient water spouts are possibly some of the best across Cheshire. Now it's here in the churchyard and mounted on top of an old medieval cross base we find a bronze sundial. The sundial inscribed to John Hasselhurst and dated to 1691. Now buried behind me under the large Celtic cross is the body of John Byrne Lester Warren who was the last Lord de Tabley. He was also a Cheshire poet and a botanist. The first church warden's book here includes an entry dated 1698 and it reads The fabric was first erected in the reign of King Henry III and at that time dedicated to one St Oswald whose feast of dedication commonly called the Wakes, was held yearly on the 5th day of August throughout the parish. Now the clock we see today in the tower here at St Oswald's was first installed in 1897, replacing a much earlier one. This was commemorated with a stone being placed in the porchway of the tower commemorating the event for posterity. Now 
Now I find places such as St Oswald's as a time capsule frozen in time. The amount of history here is phenomenal and every visit reveals something new. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your visit here today to St Oswald's Church in Lower Peva and see for yourself the ancient churchyard and of course the school buildings dating back to 1710. It's lovely to hear those children in the background, even today at the new school. It just reminds you how history rarely changes. Mm -hmm.